Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about five dupes that I think are better than the product that they are supposed to be duping or just as good. So I hope you guys find this video helpful and yeah, hopefully the lighting is okay. I am filming at a different time of the day and it's looking a little dark. Let me try to... Hopefully the lighting is okay and please don't mind my hair. It is so windy and my hair is a static mess. But yeah, and if you hear noises in the background, it's my dog. She's like literally right here spying on me as I film. And she's a boxer, so she's really like loud and slobbery and stuff. So yeah, don't mind her. So the first product I want to dive into are brow gels. So the benefits... Give Me Brow, this is a uh, travel size one, and I also have the Essence Make Me Brow. I did do a video comparing these, and um, I figured I would throw them in this video just in case you haven't seen that video. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a known dupe that people talk about, but I just wanted to give my quick opinion. I absolutely love the Essence Make Me Brow. I use this all the time, literally all the time. Um, right now, lately, I've been using an Essence Clear Brow Gel, but usually I use this one, especially on days where I don't wear makeup because it has tint in it and it just slightly darkens my eyebrows and makes them look nice easier. And I totally love this way more than the Benefit Make Me Brow. I feel like this one has more fibers, it applies more product, where my brows look fluffier. The next two products I wanted to talk about are concealers. I'm not sure if anyone has mentioned these two concealers as being dupes for each other. So the first concealer I'm gonna mention is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I have the shade Light. I absolutely love this concealer. It's really lightweight, a thin consistency. It blends out like flawlessly and I do like using it in the winter when my skin is dry, it doesn't it's not so matte where it makes my under eyes look super dry and crepey. And this concealer is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. And this one is in the shade Light Warm. Um, I think not the shades necessarily are exact dupes, but the formula of these are so, so similar. And I actually prefer the Maybelline one. I've been using the Maybelline one for a really long time and then more recently I picked up the Urban Decay one to try out because I've just never tried it out and I heard really good things about it and my skin has been really dry lately so I figured I would try out different products um, to see what I like best for myself in the winter time and w right when I tried it out it really reminded me of the Maybelline one but I feel like the Maybelline one just I don't know, for some reason I just like the way the Maybelline one looks better, but they both are super thin, both blend out the same, and they just feel really, really similar on the skin. So I think these are definitely, I would consider them formula dupes, but I definitely think the Maybelline one is better. And if you like a more light coverage, if you like um, your makeup to look more natural and not as cakey, I definitely recommend the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I know people love the Tarte Shape Tape, but it is heavier, it is thicker, and it can emphasize um, dry patches or pores which not a lot of people talk about but I do have large pores right here so when I use the Tarte Shape Tape I only put it right here I can't like bring it down to highlight the face or else it looks super cakey and this one just never looks cakey on me and I think it's just that the consistency is really lightweight and natural so yeah both of these good concealers but I definitely prefer the Maybelline one over the Urban Decay my hair is so out of control during this video the next dupe I wanted to mention, I actually don't have the high-end version of this with me because I already used it up and did toss it, but this is the LA Girl, what is this called? Gel Glide Eye Pencil, and I picked mine up at Ulta, and I have the shade Black. This is just a gel eyebrow eyebrow a gel eyeliner pencil and this one is so super similar to the Marc Jacobs eyeliners I did get one of those as a sample with my Sephora points and I used it up I absolutely loved it it just glided on the eye it was super duper black and just really really pigmented and I absolutely love that pencil I picked this one up just trying to look for a black eye pencil to tight line with and when I tried it out immediately I thought of the Marc Jacobs one and thought about how similar they are I think this one I would recommend I don't say it's better than the Marc Jacobs one but it is almost just as good and it's super pigmented it just glides on the eye like flawlessly I never have issues with it like smudging all over my eyes or anything like that but I do mainly use it just in in my water lines and I absolutely love it I think it's a really great pencil especially for how affordable it is and it's relatively easy to find it's at Ulta 
or wherever they carry LA Girl and I just love for the price. I think this is such a great dupe for a Marc Jacobs product. The next dupe I wanted to mention is the Anastasia Subculture Palette and the Bad Habits Retro Love Palette. These are almost identical. These are exact dupes almost. But I would say that the Bad Habit one is going to be the better option because a lot of people have had issues with the Subculture Palette. I personally have a good subculture palette so I enjoy mine I think it's really beautiful but a lot of people don't like the kick up they had trouble blending because of the pigmentation and all of those issues that people were having I think this bad habit one is gonna be the answer that you're looking for because you're getting all the same beautiful shades I mean these fall tones are gorgeous but they don't kick up the same amount of dust they don't blend away like some people's Anastasia palettes were doing to them. And I think the pigmentation is good. It has good pigmentation. These shadows are kind of like Morphe shadows. I would compare them the most... They're the most comparable to Morphe shadows like formula, like blendability, pigmentation and all that. So they have really good pigmentation, easy to blend, and they're super duper affordable. Um, a lot of the shades in here are almost better than the Anastasia one. Like... I swatched light colors, sorry guys, but it's really pigmented. And the thing that I like about the Bad Habit one is that these two light iridescent shades do not give me a hard pan. In my Anastasia palette, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have hard pan in both of these, and I don't know why. Um, I literally go in there with a dry brush and I get hard pan and in these ones I treat these two shadows the same exact way I treat all my eyeshadow palettes the same and for some reason I keep getting hard pan in this palette and having to scrape it off and in this one it has never happened to me so I think this one is a really really good dupe and well worth the money I got mine off of the website shop hush and I do have a coupon code that I always leave down below for you guys if you want to use it but that's where I got my palette from and shop hush's website has a ton of affordable really good makeup so yeah last but not least this dupe is definitely I like the dupe better than the actual high-end product itself and it is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade, what is it called? Why am I drawing a blank? Whisper of Guilt, the most famous highlighter that MAC has pretty much. And the dupe for it is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Gold Bar. The only reason why I'm mentioning this is I know both of these products were limited edition, but the Wet n Wild Gold Bar has been uh, popping up at a lot of different Rite Aids and it has like a display with this and some of the other new highlighters that Wet n Wild came up with so if you guys see this gold bar on a display at Rite Aid or Walgreens or whatever pick it up it is like one of the best highlighters that I have in my collection it's like one of my favorite highlighters ever it's so gorgeous and I love it so much more than I do my MAC uh, Whisper of Gil and the reason why is because I feel like even though MAC Whisper of Guilt is obviously gorgeous, look at that shine, I feel like on the skin it doesn't always look smooth. Sometimes it looks kind of textured on my skin. And this one is almost the same exact color, but it never looks textured on my skin. It's really pigmented and it looks a lot smoother on the skin. And I mean the colors look the same on my skin, it's just that this one's formula for some reason just does so much better on my skin and it just looks so much nicer so I'm always reaching for the wet n wild one when I want a gold highlight so much more than I do for the whisper of guilt I'm gonna give you guys a quick swatch so this one is the MAC whisper of guilt the shine is so high intense shine on the MAC one but the wet n wild has a really high shine too and it looks smoother on the skin so guys seriously I recommend the wet n wild one better if I was to apply it I have already have like a ton of highlighter on but if I was to apply it to the skin you guys would see that it is so much more smoother and beautiful and I absolutely love wet n wild I could recommend a million of their products they're my favorite drugstore brand and they're so super affordable so you can't compare a five dollar highlighter to a limited edition one that was like how much was this like 30 bucks or something Definitely, definitely the best Whisper of Guilt dupe because it's only $5. Okay, guys, that is all for my dupe video. Let me know if you guys found this helpful. I can also do a part two. So I do have another five products where they're a dupe, whether it's color or formula or whatever, that I can share with you guys. So let me know if you guys want to see a part two of this video. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I do videos every other day for the whole month of December. Otherwise, it's twice a week. But right now, it's my vid summer. 
So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great day slash night, everybody. Bye.